ഹലോ എവരി വൺ ഐ എം മുഹമ്മദ് ജഫിൻ ആസ് യു ഓൾ നോ ഗൂഗിൾ ഹാസ് ബിക്കം പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾസ് ഡെയിലി ലൈഫ് ആസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ വേൾഡ്സ് ലീഡിംഗ് ആൻഡ് മോസ്റ്റ് പോപ്പുലർ സെർച്ച് എൻജിൻ വിത്ത് മോർ ദാൻ വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫൈവ് ബില്യൺ യൂസേഴ്സ് വേൾഡ് വൈഡ് ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ഷെയർ മൈ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ഓൺ വൺ ഓഫ് മൈ ഫേവറേറ്റ് ടൂൾ വിച്ച് ഐ മോസ്റ്റ്ലി യൂസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ പോപ്പുലർ ഗൂഗിൾ ടൂൾസ് നോൺ ആസ് ഗൂഗിൾ ട്രെൻഡ്സ് If you want to know any of the topics you are attending with time, be it out of curiosity or to improve some aspects of your business, it would be interesting to learn what trends are currently growing. Stick with me as I will be sharing how I use Google Trends to pick a topic or a product to give a try. How to log in Google Trends Google Trends is very simple to use. First, we go on to the Google website and we type in Google Trends and click on the first search result that is Google Trends and launch the website. We don't need any additional logins here. If you are signed up with a mail ID, that's enough. It will be auto-connected. So, the first question that will come to your mind is what is Google Trends? Google Trends is an online tool that helps users to visualize and discover trends in people's search behavior within Google Search, Google News, Images, Shopping and YouTube. Google Trends not only allow users to see what topics and queries have been popular in searches, but will also show how often specific searches have been made or a certain amount of time. The data can then be visualized by Google, producing a trend graph of the search topic over the selected amount of time, allowing you to efficiently analyze the results. From the results, Google Trends enable you to conduct analysis, commodity research, search for a specific brand, high credit for a specific keyword and much more. In short, it gives a complete analysis of the most trending searches in the world. All you need is to type your search term in the explore topic box and hit enter. So on the Google Trends homepage, you can take a look at some examples. And then if you scroll down, you can actually take a look at latest stories and insights. Obviously there is a coronavirus that is going on right now. After that, take a look at what is recently trending and you can open up trending searches, click on more trending searches. First here I am setting the location to India. Now you can see these are searchable terms that people are looking for online. So we have daily which is obviously going to a 24 hour period. Then we have real time searches. So you can take a look at what is real time trending right now. So coming to daily searches and look at what is currently trending and all this can give you some really good ideas of what topics to use when you create content online. Now if you go to the main page there are a lot of different things you can do on this which is really helpful for you as an online content creator. So go back to the home page. Go to Google Trends. Go to the top. and click where it says and a search term or topic and I type in a topic let's say social media marketing after entering your desired topic you will be presented with four refinement options which will allow you to further filter the results these are location can set range from global level to city level already location is selected as India then we have time frame option to go for as 2004 and setting to past 12 months then category options include arts and entertainment sports politics finance news etc then we have search type email search news search google shopping and youtube search i'm setting to web search first it shows a graph what is it showing it shows interest over time people interest over the last 12 months our social media marketing is shown here then it shows interest by sub region you can narrow down yourself based on region or city then it shows related topics you can sort the results by rising and top parameters you can see topics marked as breakout which means it is about to become big so you can choose such breakout topics from here then you can see related queries you can similarly sort the result by rising and top parameters what can you do with the web search trend data provided by google trends you can choose the arrow button on the right hand side of each report to embed the data in the form of graph share the graph on social platform and download the data in csv format like that you can search about what are topics you like to explore suppose you are confused about a particular topic and you want to choose one topic which is apt for you then you can simply do a comparison of those selected topics here in google trends now i am going to click on this plus sign to compare social media marketing with search engine marketing Now you can see a comparison graph. You can see the interest level of each topic on the graph. 
Most part, there is more interest in social media marketing. You can also see interest by region and you can sort it by sub region or by city. So you can get insights about anything by doing like this about the world and about products and concerts and people. Let's consider another example. Suppose you required an agency to use a free image editing tool that has the capability to edit with ease, providing free pictures in corporate multiple styles, etc. Now, one next all we do is a Google search. We'll find many articles covering more than 50 image editing and creating tools. It's hard to decide what is best. And finally, you picked two to three tools which are common and listed on top in every post. That is Canva, PicMonkey, and Stencil. After this, you head out to Google Trends and come by all the search terms to know what is popular with respect to time. So I am typing the first tool which is Canva. The second tool I am opting for is PicMangi. And the last tool I am selecting is Stencil. So after entering the desired topics, you can see PicMangi was not at all popular. Stencil is less trending with time. The one that was rising with time was Canva. Now it is clear for you to make a pick. Now let's go through some of the benefits that Google Trends offer to advertisers and marketers. First, identify the latest trends. These hot topics can be used by advertisers in order to create content and shape up strategies. Second, choose the best keywords to generate blog topics. Third, recognize areas and regions of high interest. Fourth, monitor brand. Monitoring the performance of your brand will benefit you in many ways. Finally, help to do competitor check. Although it is not the deepest form of competitor analysis available, it will still give you a good picture. So there is plenty you can do with Google Trends. What's your favorite thing about it? Have you tried it out yet? If not, give it a try now itself. Hope that is useful and thanks for watching.